No. <laughs> they didn't write anything down, so... I need to think what they say next. First, this is the... This is the update. What? Where those came from? Hmm... Guess it's like this. Okay. So here it is, the financial update for the last two months. I couldn't find time to do the the previous month financial update, so I'll have to do for both, but mainly for the last one, which is we were pretty close to reach the one k dollars dollars goal, but we were not there yet. And even though it can compensate for the the other bad months, I'm not sure. Bad months considering the goal, not really, overall. Because 400 is not that bad. But for the time invested, mm. And it's funny how... How much I did stream in this one, compared with the other ones. And it's the least profitable one. Here, have my follow. <laughs> Take it, enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. So generous by you. Oh, okay, another one. So overall, we got carried by the tournament's income for this month. I guess it's the end of the four months that I, I've said I've been doing. I'm, I'm not even sure how exactly I phrase it for uh, what happens after four months if I don't reach the 1k dollars. Uh, but the decision had come. I'll quit streaming for a while. It's not uh, worth it for me anymore, considering that I I just can't find the time to to stream anymore. And it's funny how the <laughs> this month I streamed so little and uh, I got so much. Of course, it's mainly of the tournament, and considering we are living in a crazy times for age vampires when it comes to tournaments tournaments over tournaments over tournaments Sag <laughs> you had one month to, to get used to it <laughs> considering how little I streamed so yeah this is it by the way I did freeze this one so you, you can see what what it means this is tournaments results by the way I'm not sure if I did write all of them down yeah, this is this expenses, which I didn't have too many. At least not uh, in the last months. It was mainly when I started the uh, streaming career. Thanks for being so transparent. My pleasure. I mean, well, I have nothing to fight. One question. Why is this one 500 and in the end it's 425? And see what it changed. Anyway, we'll do it. We'll do it like this. The followers, of course, didn't increase too much in the last month. The subscribers stayed consistently in the two months. But I'm really surprised that people actually subscribe, considering how little content I offered. So I'm thankful for that. So some little income from Twitch, some coaching sessions we had uh, in this previous month. Um, the guy that I coached, he wants more, so maybe that's that's an option to support me. <coughs> yeah, sell out. <coughs> then only thirty six hours streamed. Donations, big part of for this month. It was from Dan, so really thankful for for Dan. Before the, NS before the second qualifier of the NSC, Dan said that he's going to give me one extra $100 if I reach the main event. And I didn't reach it, and he still donated. <laughs> so thank you, Dan. Big thank you for that one. Even though I, I don't feel like I deserve it. But can I say no to money? <laughs> I, too, too honest, Mihai, too honest. Then Twitch. A little bit from... Oh! I don't think it's zero from Twitch. On this one. 
Might be a little bit superficial this one, but I'm too lazy to look on PayPal to see how much. I don't think it was more than 60. So. Do you think the price pool should be shared more for the lower places? I can't give an answer because it will be biased anyway. So of course I want low, uh, bigger prices for lower places just because I'm there. But at the same time, yeah, you need to find the right balance between main event and the qualifiers. Maybe T90 exaggerated a little bit because for Hidden Cup 5 it was announced 40k for the main event and 10k for qualifiers. We never had so much price pool for a qualifier ever. It's 25% of the main event. We talked about it in a Fox interview that is going to come. Fox interview, discussion more. On NEC talk and on Edge Vampires a little bit. So it depends on how, how fast Margogu edits that one. I, I will share it on my Discord when it gets out. So never streaming again. I said that I'm gonna quit for a while. I mean at least a couple of months because as I said right now I can't find the time to stream. Don't wanna don't wanna sound too don't wanna complain too much or maybe break too much, but I'm doing too many things right now that I can that I could handle the streaming career as well. Considering that I need to invest quite a bit of time to tournament preparation. You're making it to the main event anyways. Who knows? Who knows? Unless you run into Toto Monks. Oh, <laughs> it was actually Monk S. <laughs> yeah, unless I run into Toto. But that Toto got invited? I think it was like he faced Hera in the first round. He didn't cut four. You need to be fair when you're. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate for me and the qualifier. The competition competition continues. Yeah, I will continue my career, but because it feels so close. I mean, I am so close to break into the top, so I can I can quit yet, <laughs> not yet. But the streaming party, it's not worth it anymore for now. But a little teaser: something might come when I'll come back to streaming. So stay tuned to that one, because uh, that don't want to announce anything official because I found out right before starting this stream. Somebody told me something, can't give too many details, but something will come up for me. Are you going to keep practicing and playing in tournaments? Of course. I said that I'm gonna quit streaming for now. Now that I'm gonna quit AV. We'll miss you, bro. Honestly, I'll miss the streaming as well. Sometimes I really enjoy it. Sometimes I was struggling when it, when it came to streaming. But sometimes I feel like, okay, I feel like I want to stream now. Do you get also team games with Romanians? Yeah, it happened so many times recently that... It's called even quitting the team games. I played so many team games with Romanians that you guys already got tired of me, right? Nice sets in qualifiers. Yeah, I'm overall happy with it. But uh, something still keeps me from uh, being feeling true happiness just because I got uh, I got a really high chance in the last set against Jordan. Some little mistakes that I did. Some little mistakes that are huge mistakes. <laughs> Especially for that level, you can't give up map control overall like that. So if I fixed those, I think I could have got further. We raised you, we hitted you, don't let us down. Yeah. Old, good old times with Romanian tournaments. The competition is so high, such a level of gameplay, yeah. I just can't give good content for the streaming anyway, because leather games don't don't offer you too much. Besides, besides keeping keeping you in, in shape, because you play Arabia so little at the team at in 
high level tournaments that it doesn't offer you that much so practicing especially for tournaments it's way more productive than playing ranked games that's that's all i can offer to the stream what happened to the mouse only that's a good question if i had time to reach 2k i think i would have done but i'm i'll be away starting tomorrow most likely i'll be away till the next year you mean the one-handed swordsman <laughs> wish to told me that one before i started the most only challenge okay you're the king slayer man hidden cup will be the breakthrough how would be called to be <laughs> how would be to be called if i qualify for main event of hidden cup first how would be that uh, my name will be King Sancho or something like that. Obviously, there there's no hero as King Slayer. Or maybe some it will be with Game of Thrones names. <laughs> and I get to be Jamie Lannister. <laughs> game 2 and Game 5 especially. Game 3 as well, even though you won. Game 2, it was Brood War. I gave up map control so easily on that one. Game 5. It was show. No. Game 5 was Copenhagen. That, that was not about map control. That was about myself going into wrong units and deleting castles at, at 90%. Map Alicia should incorporate, incorporate more maps. For now, we don't have them. We don't have the tournament maps in the ranked pool. So right now, it's not really worth it to play ranked games. Sometimes it's fun because it's random saves, rabbits. It's hard to get bad, uh, bored by Arabia. But still, the the rating doesn't matter. It's not used in tournaments anyway. What am I watching? You are watching uh, my final stream. For now. What is the talk? I missed it. Uh, I was showing the situation for the last two months. And the fact that I will quit streaming for a while. So nothing changes. It will be the same as the last month. <laughs> it will be the same as the last month. But I think there is no king nickname on here, so there is no one to slay. Yeah. John the maid. Something hidden. I don't, I don't think he, tonight is going to repeat hero names. He has so many heroes. Right now. Choose. It's... it's it's pointless to repeat hero names in Hidden Cup. Yep. <clears throat> Are you actually quitting? Like both streaming and AOE or just streaming? Just streaming. So the main point, it's not, it's not worth it anymore to invest in streaming for now. So of course I appreciate it, all the donors that they gave to me, especially Dan, Dapak, Shuga, <laughs> Maggie, always in my chat. So it was really good support, but unfortunately it was not enough to, to prioritize streaming over other things in my life. It could be the humorous king called Joe. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> Maybe Marvel superheroes names. There are so <laughs> the problem is that we don't have enough hidden cups for that one. But that if he starts going in like uh, serious names, like Game of Thrones, taking names from Game of Thrones from Marvel, it's possible to go there. If you if you used all hero names from Age of Empires, but that's the identity of using hero names. <laughs> Great, thank you for the sub. <laughs> I appreciate it, but I, I can't offer any any content for that one for the for the next month. Fortunately, all you get for me is a thank you. That's it. Assuming that somebody sub just because he wants content, or maybe he wants to support me, but yeah. It doesn't feel fair, even though I'm playing tournaments. Because I'm still playing for myself. Hopefully it will be better for you in the long run. Correct decision, in my opinion. You gave it a good go. Good luck, man. Thank you. 
Ezt jól Erről lefeng, de attól. Yeah, it will be fine in the next tournament. Especially from what I know, a lot of things are coming for the next for uh, the next year for AVA. And it's fair to assume that one anyway, even if you don't know or know. What else I want to say? Yeah, there's a disadvantage of not writing down your ideas. Mostly sport, you did your big share of entertainment this month. I laughed so much at the King Snipe, seriously. <laughs> when I saw the, the clips from, from Dave, from Mem, from Nelly. Ah, it was, it was so funny. So, so funny. So that, that that's a whole entertaining for one month. <laughs> for one whole month. What's going on? There is new YouTube? <laughs> yeah, screw it, I'm moving to YouTube. No, but I did leave, leave my YouTube for those that want to to watch what I talked for the last 20 minutes, maybe, I'm not sure, because it will I'll upload it to YouTube ASAP, after this one I'll still play 2-3 games on Overranked, maybe, but still I have time before going to work. Hello, hello, <laughs> welcome on my stream, now you are on my stream. <laughs> Last time I was your, on your stream. I hope my co-casting with you wasn't the reason we quit. <laughs> How would it be? How would it be? <sighs> it will be absurd. That's for sure. Really, really absurd. Mm -mm -mm. And then what? Any questions? I think this is it. Don't want to drag it too much. So, don't want to make again 40 50 minutes video long. Minutes. What is the new job? It's not even a new job. I've been working for five months already, almost six. Just as a barman. Yeah, it has to be barman in English. Did you talk to MVL after the decider? I talked to him right after the game finished. And he was trying to see if he can replay that game. But it was not my decision to do it. The plant work at CNA. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you'll see me on OnlyFans eventually, but not CNA. <laughs> Bartender? Okay, bartender. That sounds more uh, that sounds more English. I think I'm the only, only person that describes something as more English or less English. Hey, Middle East. By the way, is the, this one as well. This one was a really fun one. And still it proved that I might. I have a huge shot for the EUC, but not for the streaming career. Who talked about the stream? Oh, Spreezy. Have you seen the Spreezy video? He mentioned me there. <laughs> and he said that I, I tried to go full time, but the stream didn't go that well. MBL showed the Discord convo with you after the game. We, we even talked on voice. I guess. Then that's what he wanted to ask, right? But you are also in the university, right? Yes, I'm in university. I'm working at a coffee shop. But it's more like a restaurant. Restaurant, whatever. And I'm at university as well. And I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to compete in AV. So it's already too much for me. It's fair to quit streaming for now. Raises influence, it's huge. I mostly agree with him, if you mean like influence. Oh yeah, he's from Croatia, right? He's from your community. Did he play in that tournament? Or he didn't? But I think he quit AU for two months already, so he didn't get to play into it. No place to get away from Sprizzy. I mean, he did a... Uh, uh, Good topic video, so it was it was fair to, to attract attention. Why wouldn't 
any player who lost try to replay the game they lost. I didn't get to replay my game after I lost in TTL season 2 against Gabby. That Regisa game. When did you play against Winchester? It was on Monday or Tuesday? No, it was on Tuesday. It was uh, recorded games. I'm not sure why the Wikipedia is not updated because Sito casted this set. And it was uh, really close. It was uh, played as recorded games, private, and then we got we got the records further. He doesn't do anything with the community. He didn't even want to play in the Nations Cup with us, even though he was the highest rated. Oh, really? Is he the highest rated? I mean, the wo the one... Or actually, Sprizzy, it's almost 2k. I think he got 2k almost. So that's fairly high. At the time... Kepski, it's now the highest. That's what I wanted to mention. One Leon Arabia, Bo. Would have struggled in Nations Cup. What do you call him? A... Uh, Arabia bot. <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> Mihai played for his country. Too bad Nectari dragged us down. You can't ignore the fact that Nectari carried us in some games. I've seen some Wikipedia update. Oh, actually, it's for the Viper. <laughs> for a moment, I thought, okay, I'm so important. I mentioned on stream that this one needs to get updated and. <laughs> Somebody just got got it updated. Did I tune in at the right time? If you wanted to see just the end of it, yes, you tuned out. You tuned in at the right time. But I did mention your, your video as well. Which was fair. Fairly good and fairly on point with the actual situations. Overall, I agree with your perspective. It's really risky if you want to invest in AV. That's why I can't afford to invest more in streaming. When I can focus on other things, still. The tournament results are pretty good. Quit yet. Perfect time? Almost perfect. Would it be better for the game if we didn't have the super dominant players like Hera Viper that take all the prize pool? I mean, in theory, anybody can de get there, right? Viper. First, Viper is not that dominant anyway, anymore. And secondly, Hera came from from the plebs <laughs> like three years ago. So it's not like Hera has been there for a huge time. He was in the top 20, 30 for a while, and he broke broke out recently but it's fair that we don't have uh, new players in the tops i mean most of the players that are in the top right now has been in the community for years and years even i consider myself in the in the community because i've been playing this game for 14 years i didn't came out of nowhere it was not highly rated at all yeah but Subs confirms that he's, he was top 32 in 2k17. You are one of the few exceptions. No, I'm not exception. As I said, the 14 years that I played before this had a huge role in my performance. And even though it's not yet crazy performance, but I'm optimistic about it. The year was the breakout of Hera. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but it was. I'm curious if it would have happened if the was not a thing. If they still played on Wobble. At the same time, maybe not, because Microsoft most likely would have not invested in a community if the didn't exist. He got wrecked in 2 15 for Maldives by Riot. Who did mention that one? I think it was in that um, Has the Goat Fallen Off by Tiramis, the Viper Editor video. But I think everybody knows that one, right? Has the Goat 
not long enough. Yeah, this one. Which is a pretty good video. I mean, huge work to do to do something like that. I, I've done a little bit of editing videos and really huge. Commit to something like this. 14k? Mm, decent. And then we have Spreezy. I can f One air. We did a video about why I quit Age of Empires. Reality check. Which it was indeed a reality check for those that were not conscious about it. I've been thinking about this situations, situation for a while. And the pack gave me the, the impulse to go there. <clears throat> so from 2015 till 2020, 2021, he didn't want too much, right? Takes seven years. Yeah. So this means he didn't came out of nowhere, but it showed that it's possible to get up there. If you have the time and the patience. And maybe the talent. You can't ignore that the talent plays a factor in a <laughs> How long until you come back? I give it the months. What's being discussed on stream? The fact that I'm I'm gonna quit streaming for a while. That's it. Okay, any other questions before I close it off? Because <clears throat> I feel like I'm missing something. Something that I wanted to... to point out for some reason. You'll be the next Jordan. Why Jordan? Because I quit and then I am playing at my peak? Maybe. Yeah. But playstyle wise? No way. Works like this? Twitter. I mean, I don't want to show this. Actually, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I am not going to be active on Twitter anyway. But I, I know that I want to share the box discussion that is going to be released soon. On that one. Uh, to, 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 to. If you're playing leather games, why no streaming? Because I'm not playing leather games. I mean, I'm playing like one or two here and there, but that's it. I'm not sure when is the, where, when is the last time I grinded for leather. I'm certain it was tough to decide that, but it's for the best. It was not that tough. Because, I mean, it took something out of my mind when I decided that, okay, I'm gonna quit streaming. So I I was a little bit more relaxed. There's less, less responsibilities, of course. Quit streaming and results improve? Maybe. No pressure? Absolutely no pressure. Lyra is the smartest one. Yeah, you don't even see him streaming and he's still top 4. The, that's just insane. But uh, recently, from what I know, he started taking things seriously. And from what I know, he he's practicing for tournaments. And even... You know, you know it's crazy when MBL starts practicing for tournaments. He said that, not me. He said that after the... That's a uh, King Snipe. So what's next for you? Tournaments. Tournaments, tournaments, tournaments. And as I said, a little desert. So something might come if I come back to streaming. But if I come back to streaming, it depends on the AOE performance, tournament performance. Otherwise, it's still not worth it. Is working as far as I know. Lear is working? What? Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Time to move to A4. <laughs> if I didn't move two years ago when it got released, or one year ago, do you think it's a good idea to do it now? Nope. Is either a genius or a fool? 
It depends on how you like to see it. So you will just play as practice for tournament. Yeah. And maybe some later games here and there because I like when I see on my profile 2k6, not gonna lie. Are you living streaming? Why? Because of this, I didn't reach my... Oh. Because of this, I didn't reach my goal of 1k per month. If I could... <laughs> it's funny to think if I qualified for NEC, I would have covered other 3 months as well. Or if, maybe even more, because... If I qualify for NEC, I think I can even get further ahead in the tournaments. We'll see you in League of Legends then. <laughs> I tried that game and I couldn't stick to it too much. <sighs> too little strategy, too much APM. And people that are mad at you for playing bad. We'll see you naked on camera. Don't spoil everything, Saps. Especially that I say that something will come when I come back to streaming. For the right money? What is the right money? I really respect the fact you have this spreadsheet. Thanks to the puck. I mean, I, I would have not done it without him. Because he gave me the, the advice. And it's a really smart one, because... You, you can keep track of everything. Not many streamers are willing to be this transparent. I mean, if you get to a certain point, you can't be fully transparent, no? G giving too much information away might, might hurt you on long run. But at least in my case, I don't feel like I have anything to hide. Maybe some Fox discussions, but that's it. <clears throat> Which is normal to not show everything. Win some games, get notoriety, create some anticipations, being gone, and then possibly streaming again. If you want to take it like this, yes. What's next? Are you going to college? I'm already at university. Not sure how long it will take, but for now I'm committed to that one as well. You win like 200 euro per month from streaming, as average. Uh, when is the best month? Yeah, this one was the best month, streaming wise. This one was not too bad as well. But when you consider donations and Twitch. Like, but on average, it's yeah around 200 300 dollars, which is not enough for a million. Whatever you would say. What do you, you do lose if you're streaming? You're playing this game anyway. Maybe if you quit, yeah, you'll regret it later I'm just quitting streaming first secondly I can't show practice games on stream <laughs> I mean how no uh, that's not uh, that's not normal and I'm not even playing that many leather games anyway because I'm prioritizing practice practicing games so it's not like I'm playing 10 hours per day of leather games and I'm not streaming them it's not happening not really worth it. Yeah, not really worth it. If you coach like one, 10 hours a week, you're set. See? <laughs> I don't even have to sell out myself. <laughs> the, ch the chat is doing good for me. I'm still open to coaching, so if anyone wants to support me, I I'm doing coaching as well. And fairly to say, without being biased, the ones that I coached had uh, pretty good results on ladder. Of course, coaching is not for anyone, because if you just want to have fun with the game, it's not good to coach, to, to get coached, because it might be too stressful and not worth it. But if you really want to improve yourself, go for it. Go for the coaching. Okay, I guess that's it. Let's quit it before this, this video gets one hour long. <laughs>